What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United Realistic Career Mode. I'm going to kick it off here with a game against Everton at home. Um, Everton are currently ninth place in the league, so I thought I'd go with a, a stronger squad for this. We can't afford to lose any more points, especially since we are in the title race. We're like two points behind top place Liverpool, I think we're one point, something like that. We're very close. But here we'll start this game, 45 minute. Lovely connection from six and there on the ball to make it 1 0 against us. The very literally nothing else happened in the first half. Everton had this corner, well placed by Townsend, and then six and score a brilliant goal. We watch here replay again. Townsend takes a cross, six and first time top bins, unsavable with the hair. Then Ronaldo here comes attacking, passes to Anthony, Anthony cuts inside, passes to Ronaldo, Ronaldo shoots. Hits the post, Bruno scores, but unfortunately we were offside, so we are still 1-0 down. And then Anthony will be sprinting down the right wing. Mina couldn't catch up to him at all. Anthony's one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper, finishes it into the ball, more like smashes it into the bottom left to make it 1-1. Anthony has been spectacular for us ever since he signed from Ajax. What a signing he's been. We'll show Reaper here again. Sprinting, Mina can't get to him. Faces the goalkeeper, smashes it into the bottom left slash side netting of the goalkeeper's reach. We have another chance here, Sancho running down the left, passes it to Ronaldo, Ronaldo misses, saved by um, Pixel I think it is, thought we can't make it 2-1, but in the 83rd minute, Sancho again down the left wing, shoots underneath the legs of Pickford to make it 2-1, and Sancho puts us ahead. He was unselfish last time passing it to Ronaldo, this time he decided to shoot himself and I've obviously said a bit of a fluke because it was a bit of a scuffy shot, but it makes us 2 1, we're ahead, and that would be the end of that game. That would be the last chance. Not many chances in that game, quite a stale game. Um, but Sancho, probably a man of the match, to be fair, he played a great game, um, also got a goal. So overall, it was a nice game 2 1, that means three more points for us. Anthony Sancho scoring the goals for us, and Sigerson scoring the goal for Everton. Next up, there was a game against Leicester City. Remember, we got knocked out by Leicester City in the Carabao Cup. Um, hopefully, though, we are here looking for revenge. So, here we are. I think we're at the King Power Stadium. Hopefully, we're at the three points. As I said, we're still in the title race. We need the three points. We can't afford to lose, especially since we've got a Liverpool game coming up very, very soon. Here, Ronaldo to Bruno. Bruno does a bit of skill there to, to distract the defender. Back he'll pass to Ronaldo, but Ronaldo beats Oyunku and Suyunku and so Ronaldo driven shot into the bottom left to make it 1 0. Very nice shot, very powerful shot out of Schmeichel's reach. A celebration of Anthony and Bosch Reaper here again. Very nice goal from Ronaldo, he's been great for us this season. A nice back heel pass by Bruno. Nice touch by Ronaldo to drive it past Soyunku and nice finish. Ronaldo headers the ball here from a corner, hits a crossbar, Torres gets the rebound, Schmeichel can't get out fast enough and Torres makes it 2-0 to us. Torres, that's his first goal for Manchester United, first goal since he signed from Villarreal. As expected, they had the goal because I don't think he will really realistically score um, from an attacking situation. Like a striker would first watch the rebound here again, Ronaldo again winning the headers as he's been doing this career mode. Here's the cross button, Paul Torres gets the rebound to make it 2-0 against Leicester City. Finally, to finish it off, Sancho will be running down the left wing, sees Osimhen free, keeps sprinting over past to Osimhen, touched by Osimhen and finesses into the bottom right out of Schmeichel's reach to make it 3-0. Osimhen was introduced as a sub in around the 70th minute, I think, for Ronaldo, comes on and scores the goal. Osimhen has been brilliant for us to be fair, he's been good when called upon, European League games when he comes from the sub. What's your Reaper here again? Nice finish, bottom right. That would be the end, the end of the game. We'll get another three points. Um, we did get eliminated by Leicester, but we got our revenge this time. 3 0 in the league. That's an extra three points to keep us fighting for the title. Now, our third Europa League game of the career mode against Kalma, Kalma FF. I don't know where this team is from. It sounds Swedish, I might be wrong. I don't know where it's from. But it should be a relatively easy game. I did change the tactics a bit. I did, sorry, the players. Where I, I, I use players who don't play often, so they can get a bit of game time in, in these games. Hopefully, it should be a comfortable win. Um, here we are. We're away this time. At Molten Road, I think it's probably a FIFA generated stadium. Oh, well, Bruno here 
Bruno did get suspended for the last game, by the way, so he will be unavailable for our next game, which is against Liverpool, I think. But here we go to Kiwi Woods, um, prize and assist for Elanga. Um, Elanga, who's been all right for us mm -hmm. this season. Um, but like I said, Bruno will be suspended for our next Premier League game. Unfortunately, I didn't know it was against Leicester City. Something against Liverpool, sorry, it's a bit of a sticky one there. But we are 1 0 up. Osterman, try with the ball from midfield. Beat three defenders, face the goalkeeper, and then smash it bottom left to make it 2 0. That's, I don't know how many goals that is for Osterman this season already, but he's been spectacular for us. Very nice goal there, dribbles from halfway line, beats three, four players, beats the goalkeeper, and makes it 2 0 for us. So I, I, at this point, I would say the game was pretty much dominated by us. Pretty much certain for us to get the three points. Here, Osterman struggled the defender, smashes it bottom left. So we get another chance here. Elanga running down the wing again. Three players to pass it to, two players to pass it to. Pass it to Osimhen and Osimhen first time finish. The 40th minute to make it 3-0. A nice easy tap in for the Nigerian striker. Very nice goal. Let's watch here. Again, Elanga pace got too much pace. Tavares can't catch up to him and it sorts it to Osimhen who just has to tap it in. And Lindelof would score the fourth goal from a corner. As I said before, corners are probably our strongest point. Um, we've got good headers, we've got Lindelof, we've got Ronaldo, Paul Torres. Um, so overall we've got some good headers, as, as we've seen here in the last game, Paul Torres, Ronaldo got a header, Paul Torres got a header, now Lindelof got a header. Very nice goal there. Out of the goalkeeper, so it's a nice, nice logged header to make it 4-0 in, in the 48th minute. Then Van der Beek will pass it to Bruno, but the defenders will just stay still. Bruno will pass it to Osimhen and Osimhen will make it hat-trick for him and 5-0. Honestly, I didn't, mean, I didn't actually mean to pass it there. I kind of just didn't realise uh, Bruno had the ball. And then I just panicked and I just passed it to us. But fortunately for us, he did score. He did make it 5-0. Got his hat-trick. And that's unselfishness from Bruno Fernandes to make it 5-0. The only one the beak had many chances in this, in this game to score. But, but due to poor finishing, he was unable to score. But in the 86th minute, he will drive for the right wing and nice finesse shot into the top left. What a finish, by the way. Um, out of the goalkeeper's reach, and he would get his well deserved goal after struggling to score like in three, four chances throughout the game. Some clear chances as well. But fortunately for him, he does get his goal here. Fortunately, again, very nice finish out of the goalkeeper's reach. But I wouldn't be it. Austin will play 1 2 with Fred. Fred's played through and goal. See the goalkeeper coming out. Chips, a very nice chip from. Fred out of the goalkeeper's reach. The goalkeeper can't even get fingertips to it. And it kind of does hit at the top left side netting kind of area of the goal. Let's watch it again. Fred through and goal. The pen can't catch him. Nice chip. And goalkeeper just can't get to it. And that would be it. Now, obviously, man of the hat trick or man of the match in this game without a doubt. 7 0. And that would be it for this episode. Next up is against. Next up is a game against Liverpool. Tough match, as we can see there. Um, first versus second, draw um, equal on points, so we do need to win if we, if we do want to win the league. But if you guys did like this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down any feedback, um, it will be highly appreciated. Peace.